Hello everyone. I have a couple of tests and they look similar, but one is tricky, but the second one is actually simpler. So I have two tests and in both cases I have a button. And this is a button that hides after I click on it. Uh, notice that if I click on it, it first assigns a class hide, which makes it semi-transparent opacity 50. And then it says display none. So this is how it looks. I click on it, becomes semi-transparent and then hides. So how can I confirm this? I can find the button, let's say button with ID away. And if I click on it, I can use auto retries to say should have class half. So this works, right? And let me just run this test in isolation so it's clear what's happening. Yes, after half a second it gets the class and then it disappears. So we can say and not be visible, right? Perfect. And Cypress even warns that this element is no longer visible. Perfect. Now let's go to the first test. And the only difference is that in the first test the button not just hides after two seconds, but it actually is removed from the dump. But after one second, it still gets a class half. So why don't we try using the same code, but instead of should not be visible, we'll just change should not exist. Will this work? Now I'm gonna pause for a second so you think about it. Will this work or will it fail? One, two, three, let's find out. So the test runs because it becomes half visible and then the test fails because now it says element is detached from the DOM. So what's happening? Why does this fail? Well, Cypress has this, you know, element and it has two assertions attached to the same element. The first assertion passes. Notice it's green and it goes to the second assertion. And then it says, okay should not exist in a DOM, but now if it runs at the same time, then both assertions have to pass through the same element, right? That's the rule. All assertions attached together have to pass at the same time. Now, can this work? In this situation, no. And it matters because this assertion should have class half requires an element that still is valid. Right? Because by default, you probably will not verify something for an element that's no longer on the page. Right? It's kind of weird. So Cypress does what the team considers reasonable and says, hey, if you're checking something on an element, it has to be present on a page. Otherwise, you're probably checking something that's no longer there. So you're checking the wrong thing. So how do we fix this? Well, if we cannot pass this at the same time, we have to separate it and give this assertion its own element. And now we separate, we say the first move is the button becomes uh, half visible. And once that passes and is over, then we start waiting for it to not exist. Okay, halfway and then notice how we actually query the button again, and then it disappeared from the dump. Button is there, button no longer there. So this is how sometimes you have to separate the assertions and query the DOM again, because both of these assertions cannot be true at the same time. 